hello guys welcome back to safe fashion academy this is the continuation of the combat shot that we did that is the cargo shot both for male and female please guys i want you to make sure you watch the video to the end from beginning to the end so as to make sure you get all the details because everything is well detailed here so guys if you are new to this channel i want you to make sure you click on that subscription button and click on that notification bell so that whenever we post a new video you'll be the first to be notified and guys if you are new to this channel also make sure as you're watching this video now make sure you click on the like button thanks and may god bless you love you so now this is the this is the back pocket do you understand so let's prepare it all you need to do remember how many inches did i put for it two inches okay okay so what i need to do is to fold out two inches then when you are done folding out two inches iron it out so you can see, um, I place both of my left and the right side of the pocket. Look at it here. As you can see, are you seeing it? Yeah. Both of them. So all you need to do is to work with your hemming gum. Now, you see this side, it's looking very neat. But assuming you still want to fold it, kind of make it, yeah, like improve the finishing. All you need to do is to look at it. Fold it again from here. Are you seeing it? Make sure you iron it very well. Then at the end of the day, as you can see, very neat. Are you seeing it? Okay. So next thing we need to do is to use the hemming gum that we have. Then make sure you gum it. Then at the end of the day, remember, this is by choice, but normally you can use a stitch and they run like this. Are you seeing it at the edge? You can use a stitch and run. The next thing we are going to be doing, we are going to be folding out here too. Remember, here it should be half inch folding. Half inch. Fold it. Please make sure that you fold it straight, like it's accurate. Sorry, baby. Okay. Then when you are done, do the same thing on this particular part. Accurately, half inch. Then after that, is there something I really want us to know? Look, when you are done preparing this upper side, that's after you have finished sewing here, as if you must sew. You see this side, especially when you are working with this kind of fabrics, use more hemming gum. Are you seeing it? As you can see, this thing cannot relax like that. So you can use small hemming gum to give it a perfect relax. There you go. You can see at least it cannot relax. You do the same thing on this very side. So you can see we're almost there. Are you seeing it? So next thing we are going to do is this side. So all you need to do is to fold just the same thing we did. Okay, now look at it, guys. Half inch. Are you seeing it? Half inch. Now look at the secret now. I want you to notice something. We have center already. Are you seeing it? See, let me make it obvious. Make it to be obvious. Now look at it. We have center already. So in order for you to fold this thing, please look at it very well. Fold it like this. Now look. As I'm folding it, see. This one has gone past the center. Are you seeing it? That is the game. That's how to do it. I know some of us want to fold it to reach at that exactly middle part. It's wrong. It's wrong if you do it like that. Now look at it. See the center. This one has gone past the center. So that means the second one, look at it. You will not be folding from the center. You see the very neat folding. Now remember it was the ironing that I did that still guiding me to the center. As you can see, we are done. Are you seeing it? This is a poly material, but at the end of the day, we have been able to get a very perfect pocket. So it's the same thing you do on this particular one. Do you understand? Exactly the same thing. Okay. 
okay guys as you can see what we are preparing now is for the two side pocket that is the cargo pocket itself remember we cut two inches for the strip by the side so out of that two inches make sure you fold that half inch which is what we'll be doing now as you can see that is what we are doing now so still on the preparation of the stripe for the cargo pocket all we are going to be doing now is um use your hemming gum which you've got already use it and gum it down remember we are using a this kind of material poly material that's not that does not really relax so use it and gum it down it is very very important you do that else it's not going to balance so just come on only one side are you seeing it not on the both side of the two inches material Okay, what I want to use for the pocket is the pocket length is seven inches. The pocket length. Now look at it, guys. This is seven inches. Okay, look at it. This is seven inches as the pocket length. So iron it out. Okay, iron it out. You can also. Double it out. You guys know what I'm doing, Shay. Yeah? You can see, I'm working on the both sides of the pocket. It really helps you to make, uh, to get all of them equal. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. It helps you to get both of them equal. So all you need to do is to take your hemming gum and then hem. Okay guys, so for those of us that still don't know how this thing is going to work, look at it. This one is going to work like this. From here to here. Are you seeing it? We take it around. Are you seeing it? Uh, then this one now will be sewn on our clothes. Something like that. So let's okay, guys, as you can see, the next thing we are going to be doing now is as you can see, this is a flap that is a placket that is for the short, the zipper placket. So now make sure you um Put your interfacing on it as you can see that white thing you are seeing there is the interface and we've gummed it already then fold it back into two and iron as you can see that is just what we have done now so we are going to um put a hemming gum inside it just to make sure that it's it's held correctly do you understand so as you can see that is what we are actually doing now so close it back and they iron so after you finish doing that on this, make sure you do the same thing on the second part. As you can see, what you are seeing there now is the second part of it. So finally, we are done gumming it. So make sure you take your scissors, trim off the S's. Please, whatever you do on this part is what you do on the other one. Remember, this placket for the shot where the zipper will be is two. It's two pieces. This is the first one, while this one is the second one. So if you did not watch the video on how we cut it, make sure you watched um, the cutting video. Please make sure you watch the cutting video. You will see it in the description box there. And you also see it at the end of this particular video. So make sure you watch it to the end. Thanks very much. Okay, so as you can see, we have the pieces we've cut out for our pockets. Now look at this thing. It was actually folded this way. You seen it? So that means for us to make this side pocket, look, look from one side. Let's place it like this. Because I want you to be sure of what I'm doing now. Now look at it. This thing was done like this. Are you seeing it? So that means this is the back. This is the inside part of it. This is the right side. So please, right side versus right side. Are you seeing it? Okay. Look at it, place it very well so that it will be equal from the waist here. Then here will also be equal. Are you seeing it? Then after that, take your pin and then hold it. It is very important. Please, whatever you do on this side, you are supposed to do the same thing on the other side. That is, whatever you do on the left side, you do it on the right, right side. It's very important to you know that. Okay, now let's do. Now look, I can you see this thing? We've already marked it. I hope all of us know how we got this. Four inches by three inches. We are still going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. Four inches by what? Three inches. Now look at it, guys. You have to sew according to that line. When you are done sewing it, see what you have to do for me. Trim it out. Do you understand? Just trim it out. Okay. 
when you trim it out next thing you have to do guys is to open it up and you see can you see can you see now take it to the ironing table iron it this way now place it like this are you seeing it iron it this way so that it will relax can you see it iron it so i'm going to give it to someone now to iron for me okay guys so as you can see we are done um, ironing. I think this is a perfect ironing. Whenever you are ironing, please make sure that um, this your lining, your pocketing, did not come out. Rather, let your fabric, your, your original fabric, enter inside a bit, like one eighth or even lesser than one eighth. As you can see with this particular one. Okay. So when you are done, we now have to top stitch. Now I will want to top stitch, like have a double top stitch. First at the edge, then second one eighth after the edge. Okay. So let's do that. I want you to always know that you need to calm down whenever you are doing these things because the more you calm down let's say when you must have reached at a particular say you see that the work is coming out very very fine it's the neatness that matters really Okay, guys, as you can see, are you look? Are you seeing it now? It's not looking fine. Very fine and sexy. So now, now we are done stitching here. Next thing you need to do now, look at it. Oh, it's very simple. As you can see, are you seeing it? Turn it over. Remember, this already has division there. Yeah. So when you turn it over, can you see something this side? So it is on this point, clap part, that I want us to cover with this material. Okay, guys, look at what I'm talking about here. As you can see here, we need to cover with the mat. So we have a material already which the width is already more than this do you understand and the length the depth is more than the one you are seeing now so all we need to do look at it please i want you to look at it place it like this here are you seeing it place it here and so that's what i want you guys to do place and do what so okay so let's do that please whatever you do on this left um her left hand side you do it on the right hand side vice versa Please, as you are sewing, make sure that this thing is relaxing very well. Do you understand? If not, so what this thing is trying to tell us is that you must not wait your whole fabric in order to construct a side pocket. As you can see, we are making use of another material altogether. So it's only this small one that, when we place it very well, now look. You can see are you seeing it that's it so now let's finish this thing up okay let's close the down first so you can see place it like this then and so okay look at it guys Okay, are you seeing it? You're already getting there. Now, after you are done, see what thing I need you to do. I really need you to do this. You see this particular point? Please make sure you place it very well. See, remember you notched your center here. Make sure your center is still at your center. Are you seeing it? Okay, now place it very well. The next thing you need to do is to top stitch on top of it, just to hold it first. Do you understand? Here. 
Let me tell you the truth. If you can make this particular dress now, this project, if you can make it successfully produce it, that means your future is bright. Very, very bright. Okay, as you can see, I've relaxed everything. So I'm going to top stitch on top of here. So top stitching on top of here, you also need to check whether this one is even up to four inches. Are you saying it? Because that should be four inches. Do you understand? It should be four inches. If it is not up to four inches, you need to position it. Let it be up to what? Four inches. Okay. So as you can see, now I know some of us will be asking, why is this one more than here? Yes, now because we curved it before, we slanted. You understand? So that's why it is like. So all you need to do is to do a re-slant. Look at it from here. Are you seeing it? Okay. So by me looking at this, we are done with the side pocket are you seeing it look at it we are done See, look at the back part hope that's clear okay so i will do the second one then we will now have to do the um yeah the plan so guys as you can see we are done with our the side pockets are you seeing it now look at it we are done with the side pocket now we are going to be working on the center placket flap. Do you understand where the zip is supposed to be? Okay. So, like I told you guys, this short now. Hmm? It depends whether the way you place your placket depends whether you're making for a female or whether you're making for a male. Do you understand? Now, let me show you guys how this thing works. For a female um, trouser or short or pants, anything, this is exactly what we are about doing. Are you seeing it? Okay, look at it. Yes, you can see it's from the left side. That is overlapping this zip. Are you seeing it? It's overlapping the right side. So means meaning this one is for a male. A female is supposed to this thing now is supposed to be here, it's supposed to be the one overlapping. Do you understand? Okay, so that's what matters. Well, for the sake of this tutorial, this particular one, like I told you guys, this is the only thing that makes that makes a pant different from a male own. Do you understand? Female to male. Okay, but for this one, I'm going to make it a masculine male. Do you understand? What does that mean? It means that the left is the one that is going to be overlapping. Do you understand? Now look at it. See what I want you guys to do. This is the left. This is the right. As you can see. Are you seeing it? Now, I'm going to take one of my plackets, which I've produced already. I know all of us know how to produce this. Now look at it. From here to here is 8 inches. Do you understand? While from here to here is 1.5 or 2 inches. Okay, now take one of the plackets. On the left hand side, which is going to overlap, take it and place it on it like this. Now look at it. Are you seeing it? Place on it like this, okay. Place on it like this equally. Do you understand? When you place on it, so you now have to sew, sew quarter inch. Now, now if you're sewing quarter inch, there's something I want you to do. You are supposed to be stopping. Look at it from here. Yeah, you're supposed to be stopping at at a five to six inches. Hmm? But for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be stopping at six inches. Are you seeing it? From here to here, CCG. You do exactly the same thing on the, this other one. Okay, let's sew. So you can see, I've actually stopped there. So next thing you need to do is to notch. So after you are done notching, next thing you need to do is to top stitch. Now look at it. After I'm done notching, let me place it on top and the top stitch. Top stitch it so that it will be, you'll be stitching on the original front part, not on the um, blanket. Now, dipping is a female own. This thing now you're supposed to be doing it by the, on the right side. Do you understand? The one overlapping, you're supposed to be doing it on the right side. Just know that one is a very big point. Okay, guys. So now look at it. I'm done with this side. Are you seeing it? I'm done with this very side. Okay. So next thing is on the right side. Now look, this part is one of the most critical parts. It's the right side. You are going to be working with the zip first. Are you seeing it? But first, also know that you need to mark out how many inches? Six, Six inches, please. It has to be exactly equal to the other one. In fact, possibly take this one and place on this one and reduplicate and duplicate. Do you understand? Okay. So next thing you need to do is to take your zip. Is this now that you're going to sew first? Take your zip and sew. Are you seeing it? Now look at it. Take your zip. Place it like this. Just sit here. 
Now, take it and sew. Okay? Make sure as you are sewing, stop at before the six inches. You understand? Are you seeing it, guys? Yeah. Are you seeing it? Okay. Now, there's something I did. It's not compulsory you sew. Make it to be closer. Very, very close. Do you understand? If you like, you can sew. You can. You understand? So, look at it now. Then, after you are done with this one, see next thing you need to do. It's very important. Take this one and cover it. Are you seeing it? Take this one cover it now so on top again let's do that okay guys as you can see i've done that are you seeing okay now but remember you need to do what notch at that six inches. Do you understand? You need to launch. Okay? Now that I've launched, are you seeing it? This one is now relaxing. So next thing you need to do, who can tell me the next thing to do? So let's love stitch. Are you seeing the top stitching? Okay? On the material, yes, on the front part of the shirt. So when you reach at that same six inches, you do what? Stop. Now, my man looking at this, I hope it's looking very easy. Yes, it's very easy. You know, really, it's easy. But it's just that only if you have to follow this process completely. So now we are done with this side. Are you seeing it? You are done with this side. All you need to do is to use this one and face opposite. To this one are you seeing it face it opposite opposite now make sure everything is equal as you can see make sure everything is equal the next thing i want you to do guys above like half inch or quarter inch above the six inches hmm? you will now sew from here down to here lock it up do you understand what i mean look at it this is the six inches are you seeing make sure everything is equal everything is equal this is the six inches are you seeing the point mm. look at it here Okay, so all you need to do is to sew from here. Yeah? If it is half inch, are you seeing it's half inch from here to here? Mm -hmm. Sew it like this. Half inch. Not when you sew half inch, you come in here and sew quarter inch. No, sew half inch. But the thing I need you to do is you need to lift this one so that your stitch will not touch this particular one. Do you understand? Okay, so let's do that. Okay guys, as you can see, I'm done with this stage. Next thing I'm going to be doing now, look at it, I'm going to be opening it. Are you seeing it? Are you guys seeing it? I've opened it. Now when you open it, see, look, as you can see, it's the left that is overlapping. Share? Yes. It is the left that is overlapping. Hmm? It's the left that is overlapping at this moment. Okay? So next thing you need to do guys, is to iron it out. Place it like this very well. Are you seeing it? iron it out so that the essence of ironing it up is to give you exactly this same line okay when you are done ironing it out next thing you need to do is open here please carefully don't allow, don't let it shift open here and hold it like this are you seeing it now try and sew on top of the zip just to hold it do you understand now look at it when i do like this i've actually held it now now see what I'm going to be doing now. I'm going to comfortably do my sewing. Now see how the sewing goes. You see this part? Hmm? As you are sewing, as you place it here, let it be after the normal material. See, on the flat placket, that's where you'll be sewing it. Now see where you'll be sewing it. Like quarter inch after the placket. Are you seeing it? See the edge? See the joining? Quarter inch. Now look at it. Let me place it. See, see. Are you seeing it? Quarter inch. Don't let it enter inside here. 
you don't do that quarter inch like this okay so let's do the stitching okay so when you are done with the stitching guys we're almost done with this one when you are done with the stitching remember i told you you had to, you must iron here understand me I, I might not iron my own now because me i know that at the end of the day i'll still get it right you understand so let's continue as you can see we have done the stitching okay next thing we need to do is to after you are done ironing use your pin and hold it as you can see this thing is doing like this we need to do something that should make it not to be doing like this and you know what we usually do look at it so most times you usually see this stitch you don't know the reason this is the reason just to hold it see so that it will not shift okay so place it very well please it's very very important at this point that you do this one better don't be in a rush if not you will lose it okay then pin it as you're pinning it please don't pin two of them two of your plackets only this one resting on this do you understand mm -hmm. only this one <laughs> Okay. The same thing at this damp part. The reason why I'm pinning is to make sure, as I'm sewing, it will not shift. Are you seeing it? So when you are done pinning, you see this particular thing here? It's usually one inch to 1.5, you understand? But I like using one inch. I don't know what this person actually used. Might be one one quarter. Okay, let's see. Are you saying it is one one water for me i'm going to be using one inch one inch especially for fe female to also make sure you use what one inch. so i think i have an advantage here this thing you are seeing here is one inch so i think it will guide me through i know most of us don't know how to make use of patterns okay. to your own advantage you can make use of patterns to your own advantage everything on material is a measurement on its own so now look at it from here as you can see, see the the where the stitch ended so now from here to the point at this there the stitch ended. Are you seeing it? I've actually marked it out. Okay, so that's next thing we are going to you are going to be sewing. Remember as you are sewing, this is expanded like this. Okay. So as it is expanded, continue sewing. Let's start sewing. Okay. Be careful. You can see the way I'm holding two of the material, like this side of the material, just to make sure that no wear foot or you did not sew and carry another one. That's good. Now, as you can see, look at it here. Are you seeing? You see where I started? See where I ended? Okay. I backstitch there just to make sure that nothing loses it. Look at it. Okay. Look at it here. Are you seeing it? Perfect. And our center placket is ready. 100% ready. Are you seeing it? 100%. If you want to you know, we will. Your bonita. We will. That is for me. Really. It's not for your own. You poo. So this is it, guys. So next thing you are going to do normally on this thing is to take your back and join the two sides. Like, now, see the back part. Are you seeing it guys okay let me show us something okay look at it take this side are you seeing it take this side place on this side now so the same thing you're going to do on the other side look at it here the right side versus the right side please i want you to know that so place and so so using how many inches half inch half inch Okay guys, as you can see, look at it. Are you seeing this side? Very beautiful and fine. Do the same thing on the other side. You know one thing, I, one of the reasons why I love this kind of, like why I love making clothes, is because, see here, the beauty must not come out immediately. As you progress, you start seeing the beauty. See, that's why uh, your failure starts from when you want the beauty of your clothes to just come out when you've not even started. No, just calm down, keep doing, 
any little finish, any little neat finishing that you do is worth it. Just keep doing it. You see, at the end of the day, the work will be so beautiful. Okay, guys, now look at this very, very well. So you can see, I've finished joining. Now, next thing we are going to be doing, this one is very, very critical. We need to iron it out. Please, how you, how you iron. See, look at how you iron. You open up here like this. Are you seeing it? Iron it out. Do the same thing on the other side. Now, guys, remember, how many inches did I add as my hemming allowance? Mm -hmm. Two inches bar. Okay, we are going to fold the two inches. And iron, then stitch on it. Do you understand? Yes, that's what we are going to be doing now. So I'm go I will go to iron it now. After I finish ironing, then I fold here by two inches. Do the same thing on the other side. That is your hemming allowance. Do the same thing on the other side. Then I want to come and show us how to beautifully put the um, combat pocket. The combat on its own. It's very, very important. Very sexy pocket. I'm trying to show us or make like mark out the point at which you will sew this pocket after you finish preparing it. You understand? It's very important to mark it at first. If not, <laughs> when, after you finish fixing this one on it, it will be very hard for you to do so. So now, this point is 2 inches. This 2 inches is just like our after our hemming. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. See, after the hemming. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So the twin. So now, let me place it. But before you place it, make sure you iron out this thing just to know the center, center. the middle part. Are you seeing it? I'm placing it very well. So all I have to do now is look at it. It's very important. Look at it. From here, draft it out. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Mark it out. There's nothing there. Look at it. Take this one. Place it. Where are you going to place it on? Place it after the hemming. See, two inches. You understand? Place it like this and mark it out. Are you seeing it? Place and mark it out. You do exactly the same thing on the other side. Do you understand? It's very, very important to do that. I know I'm saying it. Okay. Now look at it. Remember when we prepared this thing? Okay. Now look at it, guys. So I'm going to be sewing this thing. Look at it. I'm going to be sewing it like this. Are you seeing it? Yes, you can sew quarter inch or half inch, whichever one you want to use. But for me, I advise you to use quarter inch. So let's do that. You do it round. Remember, for you to be a successful designer that makes ready to wear, you must have patience. Indeed, it's very, very important. Make sure everything aligns. still advise you to top stitch hmm? okay top stitch okay there's another thing i've not told you guys you can still fold it like this hmm? and do what so, so again so round you can also do it after you have finished putting it on the your dress but anytime you do it doesn't matter so you can see guys are you seeing it look at it very nice are you seeing it very nice so now let me fix this one if you want to fix it, remember this line we marked here. That's the line we are going to follow. Hello guys, so as you can see, this is the former shape we marked. Remember when we used the plain pocket to place on it and traced it? So what you're going to be doing now is that one you traced previously, you're going to be entering inside by half inch. It's very, very important because we've already see stitched the pocket with half inch. That is quarter on this side, quarter on, do you understand? So all these things took some allowances. So that's what you need to do now. Enter by half inch. It is very, very important. This is just to help the pocket relax when you place it and sew it. As you can see what I'm actually doing now. So that is why you need to enter in by half inch. Please note, it is very, very important. Just do that. Then the next thing we are going to be doing, we are going to be stitching on that particular line. So in order to sew, we start from here. Look at it. Start sewing from here. Are you seeing it? We are going to end here. So as you are sewing, please always be cautious. When you reach at the middle, try to see whether this one will comfortably stay here. Then if it will not comfortably stay there, that means you need to start your manipulation immediately. Do you understand? Don't overdraw, please. 
in fact if if at the end of the day you notice that it is not there and there's no manipulation you do that give you a need to work losing everything and start afresh now look at it guys as you can see as i've reached here i'll try to see whether this is going to match are we seeing it i think it's going to match share okay so now all i can do is now start so now see let me show you guys let me teach you some tricks when you place it like this i notice that it still has like a little bit more for it to be uh, uh, okay alongside these lines all you need to do let's say now it's shorter all you need to do is to as you are showing this one you draw a little bit a little bit now when you draw a little bit till you reach at this point you notice that it's not really going to show on this particular part because you started on time but assuming you you stopped here you reached here and notice that it's not enough then you draw the effect is going to show too much do you understand so that's why you need to check this thing before you start sewing whenever you reach at the middle that's when you check it please It's always be cautious while you are sewing it's very very important look at it see as i've also reached here i also try to place it. actually as you can see it's not exactly equal are mm -hmm. you seeing it so now i'll try to draw it a bit i'll try to do some manipulations and adjustments okay let's continue as you can see now we are done now with this side next thing we are going to be doing is Trim off the SS stitch, SS straight, so as not to have a rough work. Trim them off. Then next thing you need to do is to look at it like we did on the other side. As you can see, see what I was working for? I just want it to rest. Are you seeing it like this? Okay, so now I'm going to uh, stitch here just to hold this thing because it doesn't have to be like this. It's called a cargo pocket, but the upper part doesn't have to stand up. It's only from here that has to stand up. Okay. you can see I've done that is whatever you are doing make sure that is a need to work is a need to work now do the same thing here after this stage next thing we are going to do do you guys know the next thing we are going to do okay we are going to be making the pocket cover that's the next thing. That pocket cover is very, very essential in this because it also gives us that, that looks, that cargo looks also. So you can see, the only thing remaining now is for us to iron and have a better and neater work. Do you understand? Now look at it. See the cargo effect here. Are you seeing it? Okay. So now, we're getting this thing. Like, remember what I told you guys. If you want your own to be bigger than this, what I used here, my default um, size I used there is 2 inches. And after doing all the foldings, this is what we have, folding and stitches. Now, you can increase your own to 3 inches if you want your own to be bigger. Do you understand? Okay, and also look at the shape here. I used the curved one. You must not use a curved one. You can use a rectangular shape fold. Do you understand? So, whichever one you want to use is your choice. Okay, so let's work on the cover. Okay, so as you can see, these are the covers. So, as you can see, we have this in pairs. Now look at it. We have the first one, which we are going to be sewing from here. Are you seeing it? To this side. Now look, there's something I want to teach us. Please make sure you hold it very well. In fact, the best way you can hold this very well is by using your pin. That's the best way to hold it very well. Okay. Now, now for some reasons, there's something I want to tell us now. For some reasons, for me, I will not. I don't usually like to start from here. Hundred. Let's see. I don't usually like to start from here like this now. Hundred percent. There's something I usually do. Now look at it. Look at what I usually do. Sometimes I look at it. Used to cut off like water from one side. Why I cut it off is because see. This is thick, this is thick. Both of them, when you do your first sewing, you'll see how we are going to be sewing it. When you do your first sewing, you also need to turn it again and top stitch. At the end of the day, it will be too thick. See, see, it will be like this. Do you understand? So, me, I don't want it to be that too thick. That's why I'm removing my stitch allowance. This is where I'm going to be doing my initial stitch. Now, let's continue. You'll do this in on all the um, covers. Now, let's continue. Now, okay, there's something I really want to show us. You guys should look at it now. 
you should always measure what you have here do you understand always measure because that is it's only if you have the measurement of this place that's when you get a perfect cover so what do we have what do we have we have five three quarter she or five and a half either way do you understand so you need to make this one to be exactly the same but or a bit more than you understand it can be like quarter inch more than like this one is five three quarter i can just totally make this one to be what six or i can even make it to be six one quarter do you understand just to be a bit more than so as to cover some of the small small errors and the rest so that let it not be after you finish sewing some part of your pocket will be showing by the side do you understand okay so now let's continue okay as you can see now let's check out what we have at the end of the day i think what we have is still okay share okay so all you need to do now is look at it very well all you need to do now is look at it open it out you open it up after you are done opening it up you can use your scissors to help with the edges are you recording? so guys as you can see look at it now are you seeing it we are done sewing it out so all we need to do is to go and iron it iron it very very well please i don't know there are something people usually do they usually use the bare raw iron to put on their fabric especially when it's very very hot it's very very bad so whenever you want to iron you can either use a nice cotton place on top of your fabric then use your iron or even when you're using the iron make sure that you regulate it very very well okay so after you are done ironing next thing we are going to be doing now is we are going to be top stitching are you seeing it i have some top stitching like one eight eh on this round do you understand just to give it that effect that it's supposed to have we are done ironing it it's looking very nice so next thing like see we are going to be doing we are going to be top stitching one eight all round let's do that please as you are doing it make sure you do it neatly because the neatness matters a lot please Okay. So guys, you can see we are done with the top stitching. Now look at it, looking very nice. So next thing we are going to do is to fix it here. So let's fix it. Please, I want you guys to know that whatever you do on this pocket, that's exactly how you are going to do this thing on the other pockets. So let's fix it. So now, why fixing it? Because I want to teach us something that is very, very important. Now look at this very very well some of us will go very close to this do you understand which is very very bad mm -hmm. so like i said why so you need please don't place it closer to this side do you understand go a little bit further <laughs> so now look at it now i know some of us will be asking me how like how many inches am i going to you understand so please i advise you use uh let's say i advise you use like a half inch from here half inch do you understand okay now look at it from here are you seeing it mm. half inch and as you are placing it please it's very very important make sure you place it so that here is going to rhyme to this side are you seeing it and here will rhyme to this side if here if if any of the place is not rhyming please make sure you place it very well mm. okay so after you are done, next we are going to that. You seen now the reason why we left this side because this is our stitch point. We don't need to sew dub like sew on a double material. Mm -hmm. So now look at it. Let's start the stitching process. Okay. Okay. So now fold it like this. Are you seeing it? And it so. so you can see this thing is looking very nice. Mm -hmm. The beauty is coming out more and more. Okay, now look at it. Also sew with one eighth and or a bit above. Remember, we are sewing alongside the allowance we have here. Okay. Please place it very well and then sew. Make sure you sew a neat work. Deliver a neat work, please. Okay. Hope you guys know the secret of sewing. When you stitch a little bit, then you now relax, then arrange your material very well and continue. Not when you start here, you just brrr, it makes you not to come down to get a neat work.
there is nothing like coming down and doing your work be able to see every angle so when you open it like this are you seeing it when you turn it like this you see a very neat surface here do you understand okay I think we are done with this particular one then for those that want to put a buttonhole or a button you know you guys know what to do here do your buttonhole on this particular point do you understand at the middle part do your buttonhole then fix your button here no matter the kind of button you want to fix so now as you guys have seen we've done it here we've um, put the cover here so use this same method to put it on each and every place then we continue no longer straight try and use your rule and the mark a straight line here are you seeing it? Then another thing you need to do, try and find the middle part of this. Are you seeing it? The pocket. Mm -hmm. Try and get the middle part. Now look at it. Place it middle to middle. Are you seeing it? Okay. Then when you place it, use a pin and they hold it. You can use pin, you can use a gum, either or anyone, but I think I advise you to use pin. Because there's not everybody that knows how to make use of the gum. Okay. Okay. Now, next thing we are going to be doing now is we are going to be sewing. Let's sew carefully. Sew it out. Okay. Sew neatly, please. Be careful as you sew, so as to give a very neat finishing. Okay, guys. As you can see, we are done with the stitching. So all you need to do is to remove the pins, remove the pins, and you get a very nice one. So guys, look at it. Now, this is looking very fine. Now there's something else I still want you guys to know. I still want you guys to know that these pockets can appear in different ways. Majorly, cargo pockets at the back usually have this pleated nature here, but unfortunately, that's not the one I'm doing now. So that means you can create anything on your own. Do you understand? Provided it looks like a cargo shirt or combat or um, trouser. Okay, now look at it. Remember what I told us about this particular the cover. Remember what I told us about the cover. Now I'm, I'm about putting covering it. I'm about covering it. Okay, guys. As you can see, look at it. It's looking very, very nice. So that's it. Open it like this. You see it looking nice. Can you, as you can see, from here to here, this is you fold your fabric into two like this. Are you seeing it? So now, the waist is 34. So from here to here is um, 34 divided by 2, supposed to be 17. And you know why we are dividing by 2? Because we are folding our fabric now into 2. Okay, so from here to here is 17. So sew till you get down. Now, as you are sewing, some of us do, do, do make mistake. They sew like this. See how they sew. From here now, they now start sewing directly to this one. No, this is an error. From here, as you can see the space here, sew in a slantwise form and end up with half. So this is how we sew it. As you can see, I've already started. Now look at it. Are you seeing it? Sewing like this. Till you get to half. As you can see, I've gotten to half. Then I will not sew half directly till I get to the damn part. Okay, now this is it. Then after you are done, next thing you are going to do is to expand it up like this, as you can see. Now, next thing you need to do is to close the damp part. Okay, so let's close the damp part. No need of measuring because this is a cargo um, shot. I don't, I've already used my measurement to cut this thing. So I'm going to use half inch to couple it here. But in a situation whereby you want it to be fitted, just measure the round base of your shot. Then impute it here, from here, upwards. Okay? But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm using half inch. Then, possibly, you can sew these places two times. Because this place is usually very delicate. This place and this place. So as for it not to tear in any way. But the truth is that it's not, it shouldn't tear except your shot is very, very tight. Do you understand? So as you can see, we're almost done. The work is looking very very nice now look at it very very nice so the only thing that is remaining now should be the band which we've already produced the band are you saying it band and the belt holder so see now 
um, I'm about to put the belt holder. Now, by me looking at this belt holder, you see that it's different. This is the type of belt holder I want to use. We normally see it, see it on or some of all these cargo shorts and pants, okay. you know. So now, in order for see, for you to get the point where you fix this one, now look at it the very, very well. From here to here, like these are that points. Do you understand? Here is that point. So how do you get it? Now, depending on the waist, from here to here is 3.5 on this, from here to here is 3.5, as you can see. Okay, now since see, see where I want to put these ones, look at it. Are you seeing it? Around here. But this particular um, belt holder is not placed like other belt holders. This one is going to be placed from up after we finish sewing the band. Do you understand? So here is going to be vacant for now. So let's proceed on the other part. So now look at it. At this point too, you're also going to fix it like this. Are you seeing it? Then when you fix it like this, you use your pin and hold it. Okay, do the same thing on the other side. Fix, then use a pin and hold. Okay, still do the same thing here at the back. Look at it on this part. Please. As you can see, these are on the dart lines. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to be sewing the band on it. Look at it, look at the band, I've already prepared it, okay? So let's sew the band on this. Open up this side. Now, see another thing I want you to do, guys. Make sure that here is equal. If, well, in any way that here is not equal, please make sure, cut it out with your scissors. And as you're cutting it out, please don't, open, don't close your zip like this, because you cut off everything, you understand? So make sure you open it up like this, then cut it off. Make sure the bolts are equal. So now, we are now left with sewing the, this point. Now look at it. Place it like this. Are you seeing it so that when you sew it, it will be like this? Then this one will go inside. Okay, so let's do that. Place it like this. Then you are going to be sewing half inch. Wow. So look at it. So all we are going to do now is we are going to our ironing table to place this thing like this and put this one like this. Then use your hemming gum. Put round, do you understand? And go meet first. It's very, very important you do that. Then we come back and continue. So, next thing we are going to be doing now is that look at it very well. Look at it, please. Place that camera very well. We are going to be stitching here. We normally do these things on all trousers or shorts on the belt holder. We usually use half inch or more, depending on the length of your um, belt holder. And the length of your belt holder is also dependent on the kind of belt you are sewing that short for. Do you understand? If you are sewing for a smaller belt, you know, but at the end of the day, this thing has standard. The length of this belt holder is usually 3.5 inches. Do you understand? Okay. So now, back stitch. This is what you do on all of them. Do you understand? So next thing we are going to be doing now. Now look at it. It's very, very important. Look at it. Very, very important. We are going to be placing this one where it's supposed to be. Then how is this one supposed to like the position now look at it it's supposed to be like this are you seeing it from here we're supposed to sew from here then look are you seeing it okay so let's do that look at what i say though like this okay let's do it now place it as you can see this is the point which we marked so the middle part of this thing should be facing this okay mm -hmm. so let's do that let's sew it so place it at the extreme part like this look at it okay then stitch is this side you have to be very careful so as to give a very neat finish to work Okay, look at it now. I think I'm done sewing it. She can see. Just make sure yours is better than mine. Are you seeing it? This is it. Okay, so let's do the same thing on the other side. We're going to be doing now. We are going to be locking it up, and we are going to be stitching it from the on the on top of it. Are you seeing it? Okay, so I'm, I'll also be increasing my stitch length because this is a poly material, so as for it not to affect it during stitching. 
Now look at it. Look at it, guys. I'll be stitching on top of here. Remember why this thing is easy, easy, very easy for me to stitch is because I've already gummed this thing. The band, I've already gummed it with hemming gum. Even though you've gummed it as you are still sewing, you still be using your hand and be suppressing it. Be suppressing it with your hand. Yeah, here is the major part. Now look at it. I'm bending this thing like this. Are you seeing it? Okay, let's continue. Neatly stitch on top. Remember, don't forget this particular one. Fold, fold it. Are you seeing it? And stitch. I think we're done with that one. Let's go to the second one. So guys, as you can see, we are done with the um, shot. We are done with the combat shot or we are done with the cargo shot. So guys, please make sure you subscribe to this channel. I think I tried my possible best to explain this thing. Please, if the video is not that too clear for you, please, I want you to find a way to, you know, extract the useful information there because I actually lost the original video. This was a video done by one of my students with her own camera. Thanks and may God bless you. I will keep posting more and more for you guys. The only thing I need you guys to do is that if you're new to this channel, make sure you click on that subscribe button. And also, please don't fail to click on that like button. Then finally, make sure you share this thing to your friends. Yes, comment. Ask your questions in the comment sections. And I, I promise to attend to all your questions. Thanks and may God bless you. Love you guys.